Are you an engineer who's interested in engineering construction and management? Do you wonder if running projects is for you? Or getting out into the field to see about what's actually being built on site during construction projects? Well, engineering construction and management could be for you. So in this video, we're talking all about that right now. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching episode 50 of the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. Someone challenged me lately to talk about what we actually do here, what I'm actually trying to teach, and the core thesis is that here at the 1% Engineer Show, we teach the lessons that you never learned in school. Relationship building, networking, communicating, leadership, things like that. And if you're a young engineer and you want the 1% engineer kit, which is a bunch of eBooks and resume templates, comment below and I'll send you a copy. I release videos on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and have been live streaming on top of that lately. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on awesome lessons so that you can crush it in your engineering career. Okay guys, I don't want this intro to be super long, but really quickly, here's some context about this video. I went to the University of Delaware, that's my alma mater. I graduated eight years ago in the spring of 2009. And lately, this year, we just started a new engineering major, which is Engineering Construction and Management, ECNM. And I reached out to the professors and said, hey guys, you need to be talking about this. You need to be promoting this new major. I would love to just make you an in-kind video. That means free. So I did, and they said, of course, we'd love for a free video. So I interviewed the professor, Dr. Small, and I do believe that a lot of you would be interested in a field like this, because I just did a video about this, guys, right after Hurricane Harvey, right after Hurricane Irma. But talking about how there's three reasons why we're gonna need to build stuff forever, we're gonna need to keep expanding our cities, keep maintaining our infrastructure, so engineering, construction, and management could be for you if you like the merger of being outside, of managing projects, being a communicator, but you also wanna be within the civil engineering, the building and infrastructure engineering realm, then have a listen to what a major like ECNM can actually do for you, can present to you in your career, then maybe you're a good candidate for that. I hope this interview with Dr. Small helps you guys, so enjoy. My name's Edgar Small, and I'm the director of the Construction Engineering and Management Program here at the University of Delaware, and we are running a bachelor's program in Construction Engineering and Management. Uh, well, uh, I had the opportunity to come to UD to, to build a construction engineering program from scratch. UD has a, a great history uh, with uh, civil engineering and environmental engineering, uh, and historically what we've done is to have civil engineers go into the construction industry uh, and learn the industry with a civil engineering background. Now, a lot of that has meant that there's a lot of uh, on-the-job learning. And the industry right now is moving to a point where there are so many technical skills that are required. There are uh, so many demands upon the construction engineer that a different background is required. Uh, UD is the ideal place to be doing it because we're, we're right in the middle of the uh, uh, the Northeast Corridor, and we have the opportunity really to, to train up construction engineers that will get involved in this area and internationally to, to change the industry down the road. So you mentioned this a little bit being a good environment geographically yes. for this to be happening. I yep. think we're also at a good moment in time for kids to be interested in engineering yes. construction and management. Maybe you can speak to that a little bit, the state of the market. Okay. Um, Sure. Uh, well, when we started the program, uh, we had to do some market studies and to look at what the uh, the market uh, is in construction engineering and management. And actually, uh, the market is much better than I originally thought. Uh, uh, our study showed that the, the growth uh, is 30% nationwide for construction professionals, 20% in the Northeast Corridor, which is dynamite for the uh, uh, the foreseeable future, there are companies that they they really just need uh, employees that are coming out that can hit the ground running, and we are looking to develop uh, students with degrees that can can hit the ground running and and start contributing right away from day one with the uh, the companies that they go to work for. You're good. Thanks. You're about to be a talk show host, <laughs> ConstructionTV.com or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is really good. You really hit on demand already. That was another question. I love how you had those stats ready. Yep. I don't know if that's just like a known thing for you <laughs> or you or you researched it for this, but that was really good. Good. Engineers can attach themselves to numbers. Yes. And why, why things are 
are important. Yep. Okay, so this is really this is really good, Dr. Small. I really think it's important for us to touch on this, but you have a, a unique program. Maybe you can speak a little bit to how this is unique within those 16 programs. Yes. And then also touch on the business certificate that okay. students will have. I think highlighting that extra value that they get will okay. be a nice add. Okay. Um, what we have in, in construction, historically, there, there's two things in construction. There's construction management, and that usually comes from a business to, uh, diploma or that comes from a technology school. Uh, but then there's construction engineering, and that is built upon an engineering foundation. It gives you a path to licensure as a, a professional engineer. Uh, what we here are here at Delaware is uh, we are an engineering school. We have a long history. We want to produce construction engineers. We are the only program in the Northeast uh, that we'll be doing uh, ABET accredited construction engineering. Uh, what we are offering is a construction engineering program built upon engineering fundamentals. So you have your calculus, you have your mechanics, but then we get into to construction engineering specialties. How do you predict costs and come up with construction cost estimates? How do you manage the time effectively with scheduling? How do you choose the right equipment? How do you optimize what you are doing on the construction site for the maximum productivity? We feel that this is going to, to be ideal for the leaders of the future. Uh, but there's more that you need that we've incorporated into our program, and that is uh, business acumen. So what we've done is we've synergized and we've leveraged uh, what we can do with the free time for every student to be able to get uh, a certificate in business essentials as part of the degree program. But there's even more than that, right? We, we, we talk to industry, and as part of uh, that conversation, the number one thing that they say is we want students that have uh, experience. So uh, what we've done is we've been able to to leverage summers and our, our winter session, which at UD gives us a great opportunity because we have a long winter session, uh, to have a guided uh, cooperative experience that'll give 26 weeks of experience without extending the degree program beyond four years. And that is a, a, a great opportunity. So this makes it competitive with a co-op type program. Yes. Yes, we are a co-op program, but we are a four-year co-op program that has uh, a business certificate included within it. It has uh, all the experience uh, as well as uh, incredible opportunities to, to interact with, uh, with industry as part of that in four years without extending it to a fifth year like most co-op programs would do. And you would say that being an accredited construction engineer, or engineering construction and management having the business certificate, and then also having the co-op style, there's most likely no other program. Like there is no other program. Right now, uh, we've looked at every other program that is accredited through ABET. There is no other program that does this. So this is, this is really good. Um, just two more to go really. Okay. What type of student, whether they be going right into university or maybe within a general engineering, Sure. Interest. What type of student is a good fit for yes. engineering, construction, and management? Construction, engineering, and management is a little bit different than, than traditional civil engineering. Traditional civil engineering focuses a lot on design, focuses a lot on analysis. Most of the job is in the office environment. Uh, for construction engineering, you also have office work, but you also have to be in the field as well. So if you like to be a hands-on with what you are doing, construction engineering is ideal because you have that ability to be in both the office and the field. You have that ability to have different challenges uh, almost all the time. So if you really like to have a, a challenge and to be out in the field, uh, it's ideal because you will have different challenges almost every day as part of the construction process. Another really good thing about it is that you, you physically see the ideas come to reality. And uh, uh, when you're, you're looking back at your career and you drive around where you live, you can say, hey, I built that and I built that and I built this. And that is a pretty cool feeling. Yes. Okay, so this is the last question on the roster and then we can add some other things if we see fit. But I'd love for you to maybe mention the excitement regarding some of the emerging technologies that play an impact into engineering, construction, and management. Maybe a little mention about BIM yep. and how you guys are on the forefront of that type of thing. So I don't really know that, what that would be, but yep. maybe about start with, uh, yeah, I'm excited about in the industry yes. or 
Yes. Uh, uh, the industry is, is changing very, very rapidly. Right now, uh, the industry needs engineers who come out of school ready to use new technologies as part of uh, their, their job, as part of their careers. The number one thing here is BIM, Building Information Modeling. Uh, you may think of CAD. CAD is, is where you have a two-dimensional or a three-dimensional model. BIM is extending CAD by giving uh, properties to those objects in the model so we can build uh, a facility virtually in the computer environment and, and see whether or not things work correctly and optimize our process before we start spending uh, millions of dollars or whatever it may be uh, in actually buying the concrete and putting, putting the, the facility into place. That is revolutionizing the way that we build things. The second thing that I'm really excited about is robotics. Right, Construction robotics uh, is, is going to, to dramatically change the way that things are built. It's going to do it in terms of uh, heavy infrastructure, in terms of bridge construction, but also in terms of building construction. Uh, and the third thing is uh, going to be productivity. And there's lots of technologies out there that help us to be more productive that are coming down the road, such as uh, 3D printing of, of, of concrete uh, and other techniques to allow us to have a smooth process of the supply chain and in realizing the, uh, the constructed facility. Uh, another thing that is unique about our program that is, is really excites me is the opportunity that we have through technical electives uh, and study abroad options to, to get an understanding of international construction. Uh, I had the opportunity to live overseas uh, in Dubai, uh, which was one of the, the absolutely amazing construction markets in the world. Uh, our students will have the opportunity to, to study in Dubai uh, and uh, study in other uh, dynamic construction markets as part of the degree program. Well, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to take two weeks in, in London doing Crossrail and HS2, the High Speed Rail 2, All right? So do two weeks there, do three weeks in Dubai. So that's what I'm trying to do. You we'll know, see. I guess it's not like fully like finalized, right? So you couldn't... Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it, we, we will, we will have the opportunity. Case, yeah. yeah. That, that way, if it comes to fruition, maybe something can go out about that. So if you want to... The, the other question. Something like, just, a, just a, a one or two sentence thing about how, like a concluding sentence. So I'm so excited to launch this course yeah. in order to empower these students so okay. that they can have an awesome career. And yes. And if you're interested in this, please send me an email and then you can say it and I'll also have the text. Here. Yes. Yes. Well, we're, we are really excited about uh, the Construction Engineering and Management Program here at the University of Delaware. We are starting with our first freshman class this fall, uh, actually in just a few days from the time that we're recording this. Uh, we'll be welcoming, welcoming the students onto campus. Uh, and we are really excited about the Construction Engineering and Management Program here at the University of Delaware. Uh, we are welcoming our first class uh, in just a few days from the time that we're recording this. And, and we will have the opportunity to, uh, to bring them through the program and graduate our first class uh, four years from now. Uh, our industry partners are extremely excited to, uh, to meet our, our, our incoming students, as are we. We are looking to be the premier uh, construction engineering and management program in the Northeast and looking to the future to be uh, a world-renowned program in this, uh, in this part of the country. So, uh, and looking to the future, we are looking to be a world-renowned program where people from, from the entire globe would look at Delaware and say, this is the place where I want to go to get a construction education. So what you need to do right now, if you are interested in this, uh, I invite you just send me an email. The uh, best way to reach me is esmall at udel.edu. Uh, send me your, your information, and I'll look forward to, to uh, getting in contact with you. Hey, 1% Nation, I hope you enjoyed that interview content with Dr. Small about engineering construction and management, a new major being offered at the University of Delaware. I do also want to know that Delaware is not sponsoring this major through me or anything like that. There's no sort of paid thing going on. I just want to put that disclosure forward. This is me just believing in Delaware, wanting to help the engineering department, and rekindling and building some new relationships with the professors. I'm doing what I tell you guys to do all the time. I'm just adding value, helping first. I don't really have an ask at all, but I'm just putting myself on Delaware's radar again as I moved back from Vancouver four or five months ago. And if this is one of your first times to the channel, make sure you subscribe guys because I release videos on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays for engineering student success. Thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show guys and stay hungry on your quest 
to become 1% engineer. Cheers.